Good morning everybody and welcome back to Fox's Best Laid Plans, the planner channel with all of the allergy symptoms during a global pandemic. What is up with that? Not a fan. One out of ten, do not recommend. Hey, how's it going everybody? It is Monday morning. Normally I do this on Sunday or like later on Monday, but yesterday was a clusterfuck and so today I'm doing it this morning before work and I'm going to try to get it edited before work and I don't know how this is going to happen. So we're in for an adventure today. So I am planning in my Gooseby Twins planner. This is the previous week, the 9th through the 15th. It actually was like an okay week. It was just very, very hectic. Friday the 13th, fuck that day. That day was terrible. We're not going to talk about that day. We don't revisit that day. That day, as far as I know, we wipe it from the slate. But other than that, week was pretty good. I'm not as far ahead on writing as I had hoped to be because it's been taking me a long time to get into the groove and get into the characters. But uh, it's going and it's going okay. So right. And I'll tell you what all this drama yesterday was about. But let's move on to the present. Today is Monday, November 16th and I'm planning this week through November 22nd. This is, as I mentioned, the Gooseby Twins planner. It's that time of year when you start looking at planners for the next year, and the Gooseby Twins, cute AF, so highly recommend. Okay, this week I am using this kit from Design Lovely Studio, okay, and I'm in this like squirrel theme right now, like I'm on a real serious squirrel theme because I talked about this on my vlog, but that won't be up for another week or so, so I'll talk about it in here. So Monday night last week, we went out we went up to get dinner at the cage, and I went to let Layla Grace out right before we went up, and she like got obsessed with something on our patio, and I was like, what's that? Well, that looks very furry. I wonder what that is. It was a dead squirrel. So we have, I guess we have hawks. I haven't seen any hawks, but we definitely have a little falcon, like those peregrine falcons in Frick Park, which is just like a mile and a half from our house. And that is my best guess as to what happened. I think that a hawk must have picked up the squirrel and then caught the squirrel. Yeah, it was horrifying. And husband thankfully cleaned it up. not change that so anyway I felt really bad and it was like very sad this little face was like so cute and frozen in time like oh it was just heartbreaking so anyway in an effort to we have a bunch of squirrels here and like they're like little mischief makers they're like the Lokis I think I'm gonna name every single one of them Loki they're like the Lokis of my neighborhood like sometimes they're a pain in the ass but they're like always cute so Anyway, they play with Layla, like, they, like, chase each other around the yard, and, like, I don't know. We had this, like, ongoing thing. I have these wine barrel planters in front of the house, and this is the first year that I actually put plants in them, and this little squirrel kept digging up the one plant. So I had, like, four of one plant in the back and four of the other plant in the front of this, like, wine barrel planter, two different kinds of plants. And there was one of those four in the back that he just kept pulling it up. And he wasn't like eating it. He would just pull it up and leave it in there. And I'm like, what did you, what did you do? What is your deal? So it became like this ongoing, like little, like, I don't know, running joke. So I feel this like connection to my little squirrels <laughs> is, the, is where I'm going with all of this. And so I felt really, really bad that this bird got them. And so what I did was I bought one of those little squirrel picnic table thingies and I put it in the front here by my office window because the bird feeder, so I have a bird feeder in the back because I freaking love wildlife. It's like, you know, it's the wildlife park here at my house, the best that I can be living in the city. So I have a bird feeder in the back and I think, and the squirrels like love it. They can't get into the bird feeder. It's one of those ones that has the little sticks that they're too heavy for. So if they try to jump on it, they like drop down. But the birds are messy. My birds are like, they're chubby and they're messy. They are little piggies when they get to that bird feeder, but they go hog wild because they love the bird seed, but then they like throw it everywhere. So then the squirrels hang out there 
and snack on what falls on the ground. Well, I think, you know, that's like putting them in prime. If we are having hawks at our, or falcons at our feeder, which I haven't seen them, so I don't know what the hell happened. And husband said he heard a noise during the day, but he didn't like process what it was because he was on a conference call. So I don't know. But anyway, I don't want to put the, the squirrels at risk. So I bought them one of those little squirrel picnic tables and I put it outside my office window here. And then my friend M posted this video about this guy who made this American Ninja Squirrel Warrior course for the squirrels at his house. And he said that their preferred nut was walnuts. So I put walnuts out there, but they haven't found it yet. And in fact, yesterday they were out on my back porch, like really being pains in the butt. And I kept saying, go to the front porch, go to the front porch. So it'll take them a minute. Like when we first got the bird feeder, it was like that too. Like it took a minute for them to be like, oh shit, you have food here. <laughs> like. There's once that, but once they figured it, like once the first like couple birds figured it out, they were like, oh, tell our friends, dude, check this out. So like then we have a lot of birds now, but I think that's what's gonna happen with the squirrel feeder. I think once one squirrel figures it out, he's gonna be like, whoa, she put up a picnic table for us. It's like really, really, really cute. It is like a handmade wooden squirrel feeder. And it has even like, it has a little squirrel, wood burned onto it like it's just very very nice i got it on etsy so we will see how this experiment plays out but yesterday we had these like gale force winds and i was like oh my god this is of course this is the day that I, like literally it came saturday it was dark by the time i got home saturday from work so yesterday i put the feeder out and then all of a sudden i started getting these like 20 some mile per hour winds and i'm like seriously <laughs> are you serious this is what's gonna happen so we will see how this experiment plays out but I hope the squirrels like love it, but I'm hoping like if they go to this feeder instead of the other feeder, and instead of the bird feeder, this will leave them like less susceptible to birds, because the birds, like we have a couple birds that come into this tree in front of my window here, but not like a whole ton. Not nearly as many as go to the back to go to the feeder. So I'm hoping to divert the squirrel traffic here and that will keep them safe from the predators because I understand the circle of life and I love the peregrine falcons that we have in the city and they need to eat. However, I would much prefer it if they ate squirrels that weren't my friends because, so anyway, so I saw this like autumn squirrel kit and I was like, well, it's a sign. I have to get this one. Okay, let's see. There's the basics. And now I've talked to you about my squirrel problem. <laughs> I don't know why I like love them so I had hamsters when I was a kid and maybe it's like leftover from that. I feel like a closeness with them. <laughs> okay, I have three days of work and then I am on vacation. Party time. Then today, obviously, I have to film my plan with me, which I'm doing, and then edit my plan with me, which will be next. I don't know if I'll be able to get it done before work, but I'll at least get some of it done. Yesterday was just like one of those you blink and it's over kind of days. I did get a lot done. Like we got a lot of housework done. Husband helped me with some stuff, so that was good. And then. Yesterday what happened that was so bad, which I'll tell you just now, is that I broke my external hard drive and I lost a lot of my videos, my YouTube videos. So, first of all, okay, one more thing before I get into that story, because that's a long story. We have been having like a really serious spike in COVID cases. Why can't I get this straight? in Allegheny County. And it was so bad that yesterday we had 527 cases. That's a fuck ton. That is so much. And they're saying that the most, most of them are coming because people are having like small gatherings and like they're getting together with like 10 friends and like, I don't know, things like that. So I'm expecting, I'm anticipating that there's going to be another lockdown of some kind. We have been going to the cage still every Monday since they reopened in October. The cage is a very controlled environment. It is indoor, but they have like two extra fans, like um, airflow, I don't know how to explain this correctly. 
there's like their regular overhead fans, but then there's also like an air circulator situation thingy that goes on there. And if it's warm enough, they do keep the door open additionally, so there's a breeze. But when we go on Mondays, there's like maybe one other couple there, maybe two at the most. And they have plexiglass between, between all the tables. And they're very like, they're high back booths to begin with, and then they have a plexiglass above that. So like, you can't even see who else is there. Like it's, it's a very controlled environment. Now, however, we went on Thursday night, we went to get some, to get salads and it was like a little bit more crowded and we left. We were like, no, nope, not, don't feel it. But on Monday nights, it's been very, very safe. They're like, everybody's wearing masks. Like if you move about, like when you're coming in and going, you wear masks. The only time you take your mask off is when you're actually at your table. You know, our bartender, Billy, has his mask on. Alex, the chef, has his mask on. Like when we interact with anybody, it's all masked. And you are so far apart from everybody that it's like, it's like a very unique controlled environment. So I have felt okay going there. But two things, one, I anticipate that we're going to have another shutdown because I don't know what the fuck else we're going to do. But number two, even though it is like this controlled and safe environment, I start to get like worried like, well, what if somebody comes in and they're coughing? And then like, I just remind myself like, then we leave. <laughs> like if it doesn't feel safe, then we go, hey, can we get it to go tonight? And then we just go and you know, not a big deal. So we are planning to go tonight and I'm just like kind of anticipating this might be the last time that we go because I'm, I'm feeling like they're probably gonna do a shutdown. So in any case, <laughs> that's the only place that I have felt comfortable going indoors. I'm still not going indoors to a gym. We haven't gone indoors in any other restaurants. I mean, I go shopping to like the grocery store, but like I don't go to crowded places like that. Like I think the cases that are spiking right now are largely because people are like getting together like they had a huge spike after halloween and it was all like people having halloween parties especially like a pit so i don't know i'm putting cage on there we'll see how the day goes on i don't know i know they're doing all kinds of cleaning procedures i know that they have all this like air circulation stuff in place they have all the the plexiglass in place like i keep telling myself like there's nobody close enough, this is like, not to be gross, but I keep saying like, we're never close enough to somebody that if they farted, we would know. And I feel like if we are more than a fart away, then like, the air is okay. <laughs> if you're more than a fart away, the air is okay. This is my coronavirus. I don't know if that's accurate or not, but in any case, I'm putting Cage on here tonight, thinking it might be the last time that we go, but also thinking that like, if my anxiety is bad as the day goes on, then we might decide to just get takeout and stay home. So that's that. Okay, that being said, what's next? So I'm hoping husband's gonna take this off my plate, but I'm gonna put a sticker on here anyway. So yesterday, back to this hard drive, right? We were watching the Steeler game, had my laptop on the couch with me, and I was working on my 365 project, which is like a, it's a, I think it's a British website. I've done it since 2013, where you take a photo every day and you upload your photo to this website. Well, I have been, I'm like really behind, like I still have been taking the photos, but I haven't been uploading them. So I'm finally, like I've been putting that on my power sheets to like work on that. So I've been, you know, so gradually going back. I finally finished uploading all my pictures from 2016. Now I'm on to 2017. So it's like scrapbooking. You're always like months and months and years behind. That's kind of how that goes. So anyway, I started working on it and I realized I was like missing pictures from one day that like I knew I did a thing. So like there should have been pictures. I'm just gonna put this down here for my fitness. I don't know, I'll probably be walking, but So I'm like, oh, I think it's on my external hard drive. I'll go get my external hard drive. I'm like, okay, so I go upstairs, grab the external hard drive and Oh, now, see, now I threw off the whole balance of the whole thing. Oh gosh. So I shouldn't be thinking this stuff through in the morning this early. I haven't had enough coffee. So I go upstairs to get my external hard drive, and it is next to my 
speaker. Like I have external speakers on my computer and they both are, they're right next to each other. And there was like a tangle of plugs, like those two plugs got stuck behind between like my desk and the wall. And I'm like trying to get them out and they're all tangled up and I'm like, Jesus. So, so I finally get them like separated, grab what I think is the external hard drive plug. Neither of the plugs are like labeled. Like they don't say the brand name or anything. Maybe if you like look really close, it's in like a tiny font, but like not anything obvious. You would like glance at it and be like, oh shit, I grabbed the wrong one. Well, I grabbed the wrong one. So I plugged in my speaker plug, which surprise, surprise, is super much higher voltage than the regular, than my hard drive plug, which I would not have guessed because hard drive is like, it's thinking all the time, you know? <laughs> it's thinking about hard drive stuff. And I was, so anyway, I blew the whole board out. Like it's just, it died and it will not turn back on. And it's just, I don't know. So long story short, I tried to get an appointment with Best Buy and then they didn't have, the, the Best Buy that we go to all the time, that's like 15 minutes from our house, didn't have any appointments until Tuesday night after work. But then the one that's out in Cranberry, which is like a half an hour drive, had an appointment last night. And I was like, oh, okay, I'm gonna go to that. So I did, went all the way out there and I like walked in and it was like, not to be like, it was a young kid, but it was a young kid. And he said, oh, are you here for the Geek Squad? And I said, yeah. He didn't ask, like, I had an appointment. My name was, like, up on the board. He didn't ask if it was me. He didn't, like, check me in. I never got, like, a thanks for coming to Best Buy thing. So, like, probably they're going to be like, this girl's not allowed to schedule appointments anymore because she didn't show up. <laughs> but he was like, what's going on? And I said, oh, um, I have an external hard drive. And he was like, well, it's going to be, like, $500 to $1,500. I was like, you don't even know what happened to it. Like, it was just it was so strange. It's just, like, he, he didn't even, like, listen fully to what I was saying happened. And was just like, well, it's going to be $500 at a minimum, probably up to $1,500 because we have to rebuild the whole thing and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, okay. So in any case, I didn't leave it there and I'm trying to figure out what to do. But he didn't even like really look at it. And I'm like, how can you just decide it's going to be that much money? I mean, maybe it is. And if that's the case, I don't know if I decide to do it or just decide to take the loss on all the stuff that's on that hard drive. But I was like, at least like look at it. What if it was just like it blew a power source part of it, but didn't actually affect the data and you could just like pop that out. I don't know how stuff works. I, but I was just, I was so swole last night. And I was like, why were you so dismissive of me? Dude, I've never met before. <sighs> Frustrating. So today I'm hoping husband will do it for me because I felt like he talked down to me because I was a girl and I hate that. I hate that. That's why like, I always have my dad handle my car stuff and I don't know what I'm gonna do when my dad's not here anymore and I have to handle it myself because oh, I hate people. Okay, anyway, moving on. Thursday, I am off. Thursday is Beaujolais Nouveau night and that's very exciting. I have a lot of shit to add on here so let me try to figure out how I'm gonna fit this all in here. Why oh, didn't add a meal plan? Ah, oh, jeez. See, here I go running my mouth and I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, put this in I have to add in two things. Okay, Wednesday, I'm gonna try to edit my vlog. I always try to start editing my vlog on Wednesday so I have enough time to have it done by Thursday. And then that night I have to meal plan, but I put a note in there to call my mom because we, Thanksgiving is coming. <laughs> so I told her like, I'll buy the Thanksgiving stuff because I can use my discount. So that's another thing with going back to coronavirus stuff. Like there was an article yesterday that said 40% of Americans have decided they're going to have Thanksgiving gatherings of 10 or more people. Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? Like, I don't. It's just like, do you want to be in a pandemic forever and have a bunch more people die? Because that's what happens. <laughs> so it's just, what we are doing is we're just getting together with my parents, which we've been like, obviously we went on vacation with my parents. Like we've been spending time with them, but normally we have my 
aunt and uncle, my grandma who is 90. Five. Yeah, 95. And oh my god, that's a lot of glue. Wow. And my two um, cousins. I keep calling them little cousins. They're not little anymore. They're in their 20s. But they'll always be little cousins to me. But normally they come and we're just not, we're not doing that, all of that because we can't take a chance with my dad. So it's just going to be the four of us. Which means more stuffing for me. There's never enough stuffing. My mom makes the best fucking stuffing. It is so bomb and there's never enough of it to go around. <laughs> so this year there shall be. All right, what else is on Thursday? Okay, that's Okay, so as I mentioned, this is gonna get its own little special sticker. Special. So the third Thursday of the November, of the November, the third Thursday of November is Beaujolais Nouveau Night. I wish I had like a little like wine cup to put on here. So what this is, is this is this wine that's like the new wine that you drink. Like you don't age this wine, okay? So this is as our friend and person we, know, we learned a lot about wine from, Pete used to say, it's you make it on Tuesday, drink it on Thursday. It's like, that's not, that's an oversimplification, but it's new wine. It's not aged wine. And so it's, it's been good the last couple of years. I don't want to jinx it because the last couple of years have been good, but some years it's like really weird and kind of yucky. But what's weird because it's so like such a young wine, it goes really well with salty food. So I always make a ham and I make this like amazing crock pot ham and the whole house smells like ham. It's like ham, bourbon, apple cider, brown sugar, and Dijon mustard, I think are what's the ingredients in it. And it's fucking amazing. It is so good. And so that is this, it's always the Thursday before Thanksgiving. So that's that day. So I make the ham in the crock pot and then it's in the crock pot all day. And then that's what we have for dinner and we have the wine and it's just like a whole thing. So it's a lot of fun. I look forward to this every single year. Okay, and I did want to finish, I'm almost done uh, with the hallway. I was trying to like organize the hallway yesterday. So I'm gonna put that on here and then we have a write-in and then I'm gonna put my Put anything for in for fitness. Oh no, I don't need that. I don't need to worry about putting in anything for dinner because dinner is but I ran out of my these stickers. I had four of these left, so I was like, oh, I need to get a new one. So I printed these, but I didn't even realize when I bought them that they are not. It's just a PDF file. It's not a, a silhouette cut file, so I have to cut them out by hand, which is why this is so painstaking today. All right. On to Friday. I'm going to help Danielle walk dogs in the morning because she still doesn't have anybody else. Okay, and this is the day I have to look for laptop sales because I need a new... I, feel like I was looking for a new hard drive literally last week and then this one crapped out but husband was like if you had bought a new one what you did you would have done it to both <laughs> i'm like yeah i guess so it's, it's just embarrassing but looking at the setup of my desk and how everything is and like where the cables were it's like there was no it was a 50 50 chance that i was going to pull the right plug because <laughs> they were so intertwined when i pulled the the plug for the hard drive it was also pulling the speaker plug because they go like behind my filing cabinet, so. But I need a new laptop also, which I've talked about. And so we're, there's some sales that start on Thursday or Friday this week. So we're gonna try and check those and see if we can find anything that would be good. Okay, we have a write-in. I have write-ins both of these days. I don't know if I'm gonna go to both, but. I do wanna play some World of Warcraft with my mom, but I don't know if I'm gonna put that on here.
I really want to try to like get the house in better order because Christmas decorations go up next week. So that's what we started yesterday. I started doing some like decluttering stuff and organizing things. Okay, Saturday is my dad's birthday. Y'all, I didn't think that we were gonna, I didn't think my dad was gonna have a birthday this year after he got diagnosed first in August. He's doing super well and I'm super happy. So I think we're gonna stay at my parents' house that night and hang out. I'm just putting these in for my fitness and whatever we have for dinner. That's the last one of these that I have to count. I wonder almost if these would have printed, like if I had put in address labels, if these would have printed on the address labels. I feel like probably still not. I still wouldn't fit. They're cute though, like the laptop has a little face. Oh, I guess you can write the date, it says date. Yeah, so I wanna write before we go over there because I can never get shit done at their house. <laughs> I can never focus, there's too much going on. Oh, that's crooked. Mm, maybe this is crooked. Something here is crooked. Whoa, but you know what? We're stuck with it. <laughs> okay. And then Sunday, the only thing I have on Sunday is watch the Steeler game. Steelers are nine and oh, can you fucking believe that shit? Who would have thought at the start of the year that the Steelers would be nine and oh? That's insane. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. This is our best. We've never been eight and oh. Last week they were like, the Steelers have never been eight and oh. And like, here we are. Yeah, I'll put this here and then I can add stuff on here because the nice thing is like Sundays the husband being off I can get him to help me with stuff sometimes if I need to then I have okay so what my habits for the week are I also have a note that this might be good weather Thursday through Sunday so like if I want to go outside somewhere and write I haven't felt comfortable like going to a coffee shop yet like like I said the only place I go is the cage because I, it's a controlled environment and I know there will be maybe two other people there and that's it. And they'll be far away from like, they'll be like across the hall. No, not across the hall. No, they won't be across the hall. They'll be back to back with us way down the line. I would feel less safe if they were like across from us, but it's like. Why are these so sticky today? It's like, if it's, if it's there, you're stuck with it. spooky outside. Two? No, one Hallmark movie. I watched one autumn Hallmark movie and one Christmas Hallmark movie. That's it. I just like, the days just disappear. It's just wild. Like yesterday was so fucking crazy. I mean, I had to go to Best Buy, which was unexpected, so that's part of it, but just... So I'm on vacation for the week of Thanksgiving. So that is like one nice thing. Like I have after Wednesday, I have like 11 days off. Now Thanksgiving week, like we'll be staying with my parents Tuesday, Tuesday and Wednesday. I think I'll be staying with them. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then hopefully Tuesday, I'm trying to see if, the, if I'm able to go with my dad at his oncology appointment because I have some like questions I want to ask. Um, so we'll see. I don't know that's up in the air because they're the, of the visitor regulations that they have right now. But like Wednesday, we'll be like getting stuff ready for Thanksgiving. Thursday's Thanksgiving. We'll just be hanging out. It's nice because like in a way it's nice because it's going to be so much more low key. Like I'll walk dogs that morning. We'll watch the parade, but like we don't have to worry about people coming over. Like it's just, it's gonna be, we're gonna do a Zoom call, I think, with the fam, so that'll be nice. But I don't have to like, I don't know. It'll be fine. Okay. Washington. But then Thursday we'll go get the tree. No, Friday we'll go get the tree. 
Saturday we'll decorate the tree. So like I do have stuff going on, but like it'll be, you know, usually when I take this, it's like a, always a staycation in, in November when I take Thanksgiving week off. And it's pretty like, get caught up on word count, that kind of stuff. Okay, I think that's like all I have. I have to organize my stickers, like I have to make that a priority at some point in the near future because they are an absolute disaster mess. So, all right, so that is the week. I have a lot of open spaces because I don't know, like I haven't really thought out meal planning yet. So we have to figure that stuff out, but, or workouts. Like last week I ended up running only two out of three days that I had planned because yesterday I just like ran out of time. And I actually did like a kind of hard run on Saturday. So I was feeling like a little bit sore yesterday, which was great. But then I was like, oh, I should probably take it easy. So in any case, but here's the week. I hope everybody's hanging in there. I hope you're staying safe and that where you are is not having a super ton of case spikes because it's very scary. And yeah, so please subscribe if you're new here. I publish two videos a week, a plan with me and a weekly vlog, and sometimes a third video just for funsies. I hope everybody is hanging in there. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!